this is Kyle from We Tech Care of You, and today I'm going to show you how you can get the value of a choice column from a database table in Power Automate Flow. Now let's just get straight into it. As you can see here, I've got a table, just a test table and database. I've got a choice column here, and we've just got the three options, pizza, chips, or a Nutella calzone. Now what we want to do is we just want to, going to build it so when we add a new record to this, this um, database table, we can just get that value of what's listed here in Power Automate Flow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to initialize this as a variable. Obviously, once I've shown you how you get that value, you can put it into your email or wherever you're going to send it to. I'll just call this uh, test bar choice. I'm going to make this a string. Now, what you might have seen is when you try to add that value. So we've got choice column here. Um, I'll show you, I'll run this and I'll show you what we get, but it's obviously not the label, which is probably why you're here watching this video. Um, so I've saved that. So let me just trigger this flow. So I'm going to add a new record. I'll select an Nutella calzone. And that's added the record. So let me just check that this has run. Okay, so there's just ran there seven seconds ago. Now, if I open up this flow and check the variable, there you can see that that variable that we added just brings back this value. It doesn't actually bring back the words in the telecall zone. Now, what I want to show you is if I check the data from this row, and this is where you're going to get it because, unfortunately, it's not available as a variable in the dynamics column. But if you look at these outputs here, if I just scroll down to the choice column, there is the variable that we used. And then as you can see here, there's another value, which is the new choice column label, and that shows the Nutella call zone. So what you want to do is you want to take this label, copy that. I'm just going to edit me flow. And then basically what we want to put in here is we want to do an expression, and we want to do trigger outputs, which is referencing where the values come, so the trigger. Um, and then what we want to do is, so I'll put this command in the description of the video. But basically, we want to do a single quote. We want to do body, and then we want to add that value that I've just took, so the new choice column label. So now if I add that um, and save, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test this now. And now that that's run, there you can see the value is now a delicious Nutella calzone. Now, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thank you.